After the devil's departure, the pastor, the burgomaster, and I met several times to discuss the details of this folly, which could not be described as anything else. I tried to get them to think about what they were about to do. Did anyone remember the name of the publishing house by any chance? Do we have an address we could confirm? A basis on which to verify the reliability of that individual more thoroughly? But there were no chance of making them use their heads. I don't think they even remembered the man's features. On the other hand, if I'd had to give a description of him, even I would have found it difficult, though I had observed him closely. In my memory, his figure fragmented into various garish details, like his lurid corpulence or the affected sound of his consummate actor's voice. On these we all agreed, but someone had also noticed his limp, which led one to think he had an artificial leg. And didn't that inky black hair look like a wig? Every attempt on my part to induce them to be more cautious in completely trusting an individual whom they knew nothing about failed. I wonder how they would have reacted knowing that they had just made a contract with the devil himself.